You're welcome to Explore Insight. In this video, I'd like to teach you on one's complement subtraction. Now, in my previous video, I considered case one where the subtraction has to do with large number from small number. But in this video, I want to talk about subtraction of small number from large number. So if you're just joining this video for the first time, do well to subscribe to this video. Without any further ado, please let's start. Now for the giving case two, where we have to subtract um, small number from large number. First, I just denote this as L, which is the large, and then S, which is the small. We need to understand that for this, we call it the subtrahend, and this we call it the manual end. So to that, we have to consider the rules which will be guiding us on this, tax, on this calculation. So the first one is to take the first complement of the subtrahend. The second one is whatever we have from this first complement of the subtrahend, we'll add it to the manual end. And the third one is, if carry is generated, we have to add it to the result. Now, to better understand this, let me take you through with just an example. Now, we are asked to subtract 10 from 100. Now, if we look at this, it's just like saying 100 minus 10, we know it's 90. But what about in the, in the exam hall where you're supposed to prove and show the step-by-step -step calculation and you are asked to do that using the first complement? What are you going to do? You can't be stuck because I'm here to put you through. So let's start with the giving solution. Now, the first thing to do is to spread out the tax we are asked to achieve. So we have 100 minus 10. 10 here is a supra hand, whereas 100 is a minor earned. Now we're going to convert 10 and 100 into binary form. And when we want to convert 100 and 10, I have a trick that will be fast towards that. The first thing we need to do is to spread out this value 2 raised to power 0, 2 raised to power 1, 2 raised to power 2, 2 raised to power 3, 2 raised to power 4, 2 raised to power 5, and 2 raised to power 6. Although the first thing we have to ask ourselves is, when we want to consider 100, how many bits do we literally need? So we just need 7 bits. But when we are to consider 10, we just need 4 bits. But for the fact that the first um, value, which is 100, requires 7 bits, it means we have to position the 10 also in 7 bits, so for easy calculation. So, let's see what we're going to get. Now, the best way I do this is, I just going, I'm going to scan which value will make up 100. So, I can consider 64. 100 minus 64 will give us um, 36 remaining. So I'm going to turn that on. And the next value I have is 32. So I can take 32 from 36. So it's 36 minus 32 will have a remainder of 4. So I'm going to turn that on. And the next thing I'm going to look out for is, do we have actually have 4 here? Yes, we do. So we put that as 1. And the other values that are not relevant will be 0. So let's move to 10. For 10, the same manner. I'm just going to consider which value is close or equals to 10. So the only close value is 8. So 10 minus 8 will be 2. So I'm just turning that on. And then I consider do we have 2 here? Yes. So it will be 1. So 2 minus 2 is 0. There's no more thing to do. So to that, the 4 and 0, the 4 and 1 will be turned off. So to that, you can see how I was able to quickly convert my value 100 and 10 into binary form. So do well to practice this little trick because it will be very helpful during your examination now to that we have 100 as 1100100 and 10 as 0001010 the next thing to do in our step is to consider the first complement of 10 now when we talk about first complement form is just to take the opposite bit what do i mean by that it means where we have one you change to zero where we have zero you change to one so let's see what we have for 10 we have 000 one zero one zero so it means where we have zeros i'm going to change it as one 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 and where i have one i'm going to change it as zero zero that's really quick so that's all about the first complement and this first complement is actually the step one now we are going to take the step two which is to add the first complement to the minor end, which is 100. So this is our complement of 10. 
So we are going to convert this 100 to binary. And when we do that, we're going to have 1100100. Remember, in step 2, the rule says we're going to sum up the first complement of 10 and the minor end. So to that, we are summing these values together. So 0 plus 1 will be 1. 0 plus 0 will be 0. 1 plus 1 will be 0 with the carry 1. 0 plus 0 plus 1 will be 1. 0 plus 1 will be 1. 1 plus 1 will be 0 with the carry 1. 1 plus 1 plus 1 will be 1 with the carry 1. Now, take note that the symbols I'm using as blue color is actually our carry. Okay? So to that, we are going to have 1101101. One, one, zero, one, one, zero, zero, one. Now, how do we really identify carry? Now, take note. 1100110 one, one, zero, zero, one, one, zero, zero. is actually in 7 bits. This one is actually in 7 bits, but this one is 8 bits. It means there is a carry. It's not balanced right, but we want to retain the value in 7 bits. So since carry is generated, we are going to add it to the result. So how do we add it to the result? Not to be confused. All what this given tax is saying is we are going to take this one, which is the carry generated, and add it to this value so we are just considering from here to here then plus one so that means one plus one zero with the carry one here this nothing will be zero this will be one this will be one this will be zero and this will be one so we what we have we are actually going to convert it to binary that means base 10 remember the question says subtract 10 from 100 it was not actually in binary form so we have to convert it to binary form which is base 10 so to that i'm just applying the 2 raised power 0 2 raised power 1 2 raised power 2 2 raised power 3 2 raised power 4 2 raised power 5 2 raised power 6 according to the beats here from right to left so with that i only consider the ones with ones Okay, because anything multiplied by zero is actually zero, so it's not relevant. So to that, we will have a 2 raised to power 0 will be 1. Um, 2 raised to power 1 times 1 will be this value 2. The next one we'll consider is 2 raised to power 3 times 1, which we'll have here 2 raised to power 4 times 1, 2 raised to power 6. Okay, so to that, we'll have 64 plus 18 plus 8 plus 2. So we are going to have 19. So I hope you've been able to understand this given question in case you're faced with that during your exam. So please do well to like, to share, and to subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in my subsequent video. Just hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified when I release a video. So and don't forget to check my previous videos where I've treated the binary arithmetic division, subtraction, multiplication, and addition, and also the previous example which I have treated. So have a lovely time. Bye.